Hi, my name is Jerry and I work with the Baleskis Company, but not only that, I'm a commercial alfalfa producer from the Midwest. The nice thing, I've actually had three different liners simply because I've had three different balers. I started originally with small square balers and that's what really sold me on the bale skis. After that I got involved with a company and now I work for them also. Uh, the bale skis bale liner is machined so that every time the alfalfa plunges it, all your stems grab and this happens throughout your whole chamber. And that doesn't sound like a lot but if you stop and think on a small square baler that's constantly springing back and forth. By putting this liner in, you don't get that spring back all the time. And there's actually been a study done, I believe it was the University of Gulf, Ontario, where they documented over a 30% leaf retention by putting in the liner, simply because that's not springing back and forth. Now, it does a couple other things. It gives you a nice, perfect square bale. If I'm selling to customers, I want nice looking bales when I drive in with that load. Uh, it's particularly important if you're using a bale accumulator or a New Holland bale pickup wagon. All them bales need to be the same length. By putting this liner in, your alfalfa, your grass, uh, no matter what you want to bale, always moves through the same. So all of a sudden, all your bales start coming out the same length. The added advantage is by having that machining in there, you can lower your tension, get a nice tight square bale, and use a lot less stress. It takes a lot of stress off knotters on these small square balers. Uh, we've got people that bale wheat straw, they can get added weight in the bale. Uh, we've got people that grow a bale a lot of corn stalks Midwest, probably here in the Northeast also. Uh, we've actually had people split out the corners on these big square balers because of buildup. They'll put these in there and it solves a problem. I had one gentleman tell me he had split the corners on his large square baler, he ordered one of our liners, put it in, he bailed 1,500 bales without stopping. Uh, that's pretty impressive. Now the other things that I'd like to cover is that this company is that confident of the product, which you can get it for not only your New Holland baler, your Case IH baler, you can go to your CNH dealer, you can get one for a John Deere baler, an Oliver baler. We even had a call the other day for a Model 65 New Holland baler, which I think was only built for two or three years by New Holland back in the early 60s. We have built the liner for that. So it's something, it doesn't have to be a New Holland baler, it doesn't have to be a Case IH baler. It can be an Oliver, it can be whatever brand, John Deere, you can go to your dealer and pick that up. Rice straw and barley straw are extremely abrasive. People have told us they've actually wore through the metal in the bale chambers, and that's some pretty tough metal. Uh, they put these liners in, and they can continue baling and get the use out of their baler. I have never heard of anyone literally wearing out a liner. It's rated five times stronger than mild steel, and that's why it's a patented material. I guess my advice is uh, talk to your neighbors if they've had one. Uh, the company stands behind the product, and you don't have to be scared of putting one in. If you don't think after one season it's doing its job, you're able to send it back and get a full money back refund. Thank you.